Yo, what's going on everyone? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Gains Village here today for another Calisthenics Battle Reaction video. This time I'm going to be reacting to Valentin, aka Valentin OTZ uh, versus Vitaly Melnik. This is from the Street Workout Ultimate Battles 3 back in 2019. One of my subs actually suggested that I react to this battle, but little did he know that I was going to do this one anyway, so uh, that's pretty cool. Now, um, disclaimer, uh, I know who wins this entire tournament, so based on that, I can assume who wins this battle because I've seen the final round of this one, but regardless, this should be pretty cool. Both these guys are absolutely insane, especially Valentin right now, so yeah, we're going to watch this and hopefully it'll be pretty fire. Let's get it. <clears throat> We got Valentin starting out, one arm planche. Ah, that's insane. He's one of the best in the world. He's the best in the world at that move. And he's like in... All right, I'm pausing. Hold on. Yeah, and Valentin, amazing at one arm planche. And like what he's done with the move, just like modern day, this is 2019, is absolutely just ridiculous. He really has just straight up perfected the one arm planche. He, he just... It's insane. Now this, now his one arm planche here, not nearly the level that is now, obviously, but still really good. Now it's like it, his one arm planche is it, it is perfect. It is better than most people's full planche. So, right, I mean two arm planche. So here we go. He's doing that. Did he just try to do a push up? Hold up, hold up. Okay, impossible handstand to one arm planche. Very hard transition there. And then yeah, I don't I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Goes in. Here we go. Nice. Nice hold there. Fist. Oh. <laughs> That's insane, man. Super hard. Let's see what he does. Heading over. Shock enough. All right. We'll finish push up. All right, so pretty crazy round there from Valentin. Um, yeah, uh, so the impossible handstand he was doing when he was like doing a handstand um, on his forearms and then transitioning to one arm planche, that that is extremely challenging. Um, and Valentin will even do like an impossible one arm planche. He'll have like uh, he'll have like one arm on his forearm and he'll be on a planche. I don't know. He might do it in this battle. I don't know, but uh, he, I've seen him do that before and that is insane. So yeah, pretty high difficulty there. And uh, yeah, planche push up. <clears throat> I mean, whatever, but let's see what Melnick does here. Got his flag. I, I believe he's from Ukraine. Not sure if that's, I mean, I'm assuming that is Ukraine's flag, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. Upside down diamond. Oh, nice. To prayer. To press. Oh, no. He's trying one arm. Okay. All right. So, there's actually a difference between what uh, Vitaly Melnik's doing here and what Valentin was doing. What, what he's doing is called a side flag, which is obviously not as hard as one arm planche. Uh, to be fair, though, I don't know why he would go for one arm planche when he's battling Valentin. It's just obvious Valentin is a lot better than him at one arm planche, so I don't know why he would even bother trying, but whatever. Um, still pretty good round so far. <clears throat> Back on the upside down diamond. Planche. Archer planche push up. Kicks up to handstand. One arm. Walks it down. Okay, Hefesto. Nice. Okay, I think the timer. All right, so <clears throat> honestly, I think the timer stopped when the uh, when he did that Hefesto. But I mean, everyone saw it. Who cares? Uh, so yeah, based on the first round, I I actually liked Vitaly's round a lot more. Um, upside down, <clears throat> diamond to prayer to press. Very nice, and honestly, I just think he had a more kind of complete round because he did the Hefesto, which was pull, then he did 
one arm handstand, which had some balance elements. Yeah, he did the one arm, the side flag, which wasn't as good as Valentin, but overall, I enjoyed watching Melnick's round more. Uh, despite what Valentin did was really challenging, but um, I mean, it is close. But I would I would give that first round to uh, Melnick. Oh yeah, and he did the Archer planche push-ups, which is. Uh, Pretty tough there and harder than the planche push-up that Val Valentin did. So, yeah, let's see what Valentin does in the uh, second round. Let's go. You serious? I'm not even going to replay that. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, hold on. All right, that was crazy. Okay, first of all, we're going to rewind to watch this garbage 360 again. And then we're going to see what he did after that. All right, here we go. All right, 360. Wait, was that even... Okay, you guys know that I'm not a dynamic guy and that I don't do dynamics at all. Um, and ne neither does Valentin, but it was, was that even a good uh, proper 360? Because he like, uh, he, he like bent his arm. It's just like he did a, uh, I don't know, that, that was just ugly. I don't know why he did that, but he goes to this. Okay, this is crazy what he did. I can't even fat like I started training supinated <clears throat> Maltese a little bit and to do what he did there to just power into it and then correct it from where he is is insane. So here we go. Boom. We're going to watch that one more time. All right, check this. So there's the 360 super we just weird and then boom. <laughs> Nasty. To soupy planche push up. Another one, jeez. Supinated planche push-ups for those that don't know, way harder than P-Bar. Back lever pull-ups, pretty sloppy, um, but it's okay. It's front lever. Well, now Valentin, not super good in pull. He doesn't really train pull, so. One arm planche again. That was crazy. Oh, he's not done, okay. Full planche, full planche push up. Not super good hold on top or whatever. Cra All right, so round two from Valentin, absolutely crazy. And honestly, he put on a show. Because, like, like I, I said, I liked Melnick's more from the first round, but that doesn't mean that Valentin's was bad. It was close. It was close. And right now, Valentin has put on an absolute show. Rounds one and two, both very good. All I got to say is just. Not great at pull, but all the planche and Maltese stuff he's been doing, amazing. So, we got Melnick up here. All right, let's go. All right, come on, man. Just go. Don't throw that. All right, he's going for the, uh, going for the high bar here. All right, yeah, see... This is why that 360 from Valentin made no sense. Because Vitaly Melnik is like one of the best freestylers in the world. Valentin doesn't even do freestyle. Why would you even try it? I mean, I guess maybe to show more like diversity and stuff, but still like, I don't know. It doesn't make much sense to me. But yeah, there he goes. He was doing like a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Supinated close grip planche, incredibly hard. And then that push up also insanely hard. Front lever. Oh, I love that Hefesto entrance. I absolutely love that Hefesto and Oh wow, he was doing back lever. Alright, we're watching that again. That was fire. Alright, so Zing walks it down, walks it back up, back down, and then over the bar. Alright, let's see this. Iguana! Straddle. Oof. And then he dismounts. <laughs> Alright, so the judges are picking. Um, so... After those first two rounds, I would probably give it to Vitaly. Because <clears throat> Valentin, amazing at planche. He was great with the planche and Maltese stuff. And that supinated Maltese was absolutely amazing. But Vitaly Melnik, he just did more stuff. He did. He was better in pull. His planche stuff was still great. He did the close grip supinated planche push-up on the straight bar. He did the archer planche push-ups in round one, which 
the Archer planche push-ups harder than what uh, Valentin did in round one for his planche push-ups. And then uh, Melnick, like I said, did the close grip supinated planche push-ups, which is harder than the regular supinated planche push-ups that Valentin did on the straight bar. And I'm not sure how much dynamics are really counted at this competition. This one is more focused on statics. Regardless, though, Melnick is still going to get points for that. And Melnick, he did the back lever Hefesto walk up to touch back lever pull up to Hefesto. Uh, again, just way harder than the sloppy back lever pull ups that we saw from Valentin. So, based on that, uh, I would just give it to Melnick. Valentin, of course, better in planche, stronger in planche, but. With these battles, you've got to go with who overall is stronger, and that would be Vitaly. So uh, we'll see. We've got La Rosa judging. We'll see what he picks. Okay, so he votes for Valentin. Interesting. This other guy here. Don't know who this is. Valentin as well. Okay, okay. This guy. All right, he picked Vitaly. Jordan Bioko, I know this guy. Well, I don't know him, I know of him. He picked Vitality as well, so we're going Replica here. Valentin swinging in to full planche. Another push up, holds it, walks it, very nice. That was, that was nice. To side flat, nope, walks it back. Pauses, oh, oh, okay, hold up, hold up. <laughs> This is pretty crazy what he did. So he doesn't go for the side flag. He walks it in side press. That is weird, but super hard. Back up. Nice control, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Impossible. Not, not good. Pike to planche. To front lever. Great round. Uh, I liked that a lot, actually. Oh, he's doing back lever pull up. Uh. He's not very good at those. Um, yeah, great round. Honestly, that was nice. I really like that planche freestyle. All right, what's he doing now? Swing. Is he going to do another? <laughs> Dude, why? <laughs> that was so bad. Let's watch that again, though. Oh, my. I feel like I, I've never tried three, swing 360. I feel like I would do about a 360. That was... Okay. Alright, here he goes. Come on, man. Just go. Whoa! To planche! Our, oh my god. To handstand. To one arm. Oh, he's actually going to do the side flag that Valentin didn't do. Yeah, there you go. Side flag. I don't know what that was. Back over to Hefesto. Zing. Another one. Tuck to Hefesto. Okay. Thumbs. There it is. Okay, yeah, I, I got to get Vitaly, man. The front flip, he did front flip into uh, Archer Planche push-ups. Then he did uh, he did the side flag that Valentin didn't do. And then again, just pull overall better. Valentin's still super impressive. I really liked his little Planche push-up to the side, the sideways press. But other than that, I mean, the 360 was terrible. And um, yeah, honestly, I just think Vitaly, he's just... He's just more well-rounded and diverse than Valentin. So um, I think in a competition setting, you got to give it to Vitaly here. So we'll see who wins. La Rosa still picking Valentin there. Okay. Then this other guy. Actually, I think I do know who this guy is. He picks Valentin as well. Okay. This guy goes Vitaly, okay. So... Vitaly, 
Fatal, okay. What? Okay. All right, so that's it. Now, so that was really interesting, though, at the end, because you, I don't even know how that works, because you had two people that said Vitaly, two people that said Valentin, and then Vitaly still ended up winning without any sort of uh, rematch or anything like that. So I think maybe what happened is they just <clears throat> agreed that Vitaly won, and then... <clears throat> They just let him go through. Now, I already knew Val uh, Vitaly won because, like I said, I know who won the entire competition. I know who was in the finals, and yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty interesting. Maybe because Jordan Bioko, I think he's the guy that kind of runs street work at Ultimate Battle. So maybe as a judge, he has a little bit more sway than the others. I don't really know. Regardless, though, it was a really, really nice battle. Uh, Vitaly Melnik absolutely put on a show. Just destroyed all around. Solid planching, really great pull with his Hephaestus and stuff, and then he had really solid dynamics as well. Valentin, amazing in planche. I respect Valentin a ton. He's one of the athletes that I probably respect the most and is one of like maybe one of my biggest planche inspirations. And I think he's one of the best planchers in the world. Super powerful guy. But while he's super strong in planche, he really does lack other areas, so such as pull. We didn't even see a Hefesto from him. We did see those back lever pull-ups. They didn't really look super great. We saw a couple front levers. Again, again with the front levers, not amazing. And then, of course, he, he, mean, he just doesn't do dynamics, so it's kind of whatever, but... The dynamics that we saw from those two 360s, both were pretty garbage. So regardless though, great battle. Both absolutely amazing athletes. Um, so yeah, if you guys like the video, please uh, leave a like. Also, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.